Today, I'm gonna to show you how to dodge and burn in less than 30 seconds. All right, so here we are on Photoshop with the photo I found online. I've been editing a little bit. I went ahead and did some skin cleanup. I lined up her eyes a little bit and messed with the color balance. The next step I usually take is dodging and burning. And I actually just found this really cool technique that I wanna share with you guys. So if you go over to your channels, which if it's not over here, just go to window channels and it'll pop up and then hold down control or command on a Mac and click on the RGB channel. And so essentially what this is doing is it's selecting all the lighter parts of the image. So if you've done dodging and burning in the past, you usually want to dodge like the triangle in the cheek, the bridge of the nose, parts of the forehead, the highlight in the lips, this little part above the lips and the chin area. And this is essentially doing all the work for you. So if you go back to your layers and let's make a curves adjustment layer, and it's going to add that mask to our curves layer. So hold down alt and click on the mask. You can see it better. So yeah, it's masking out all the dark areas and leaving just the light parts of the image. Let's hold alt and go back. And instead of messing with the actual curve itself, we're just going to change the blending mode to screen. And that's going to lighten it for us. It's a little over the top. So we're going to go to our blending options. So right click on the layer, go up to blending options go down to underlying layer and we're going to be adjusting this shadow slider. So this is going to essentially mask in some of the shadows back. And as you can see, it doesn't look that great, but if you hold down alt and click on the right part of the slider, you can blend it in seamlessly. So let's move this all the way to the right. Let's click. Okay. Um, it's a little bit still too much. So we're going to drop the opacity to 50% and that's going to give us some wiggle room later. And just like that, I mean, you're pretty much done with the dodge layer. So let's do a quick before and after. This is before, and this is the after. So you can tell it's just brightening up the already lighter areas of the image. Now let's use this layer. Let's actually rename it to dodge real quick. Let's use this layer to make the burn layer. So we're gonna duplicate it by hitting Control J or Command J on a Mac. Let's go ahead and rename it real quick to burn. And let's change the blending mode from screen down to multiply and click on the mask, we actually want to invert it. So let's hit Command I or Control I. And you see we invert the mask because we don't want to do anything to the highlights. We just want to do stuff to the dark parts of the image. And lastly, let's go back to our blending options, to our underlying layer, and let's kind of reverse what we did. So it's going to move this shadow slider all the way back to the left, hold down Alt, and let's split this highlight slider and move it all the way to the left. And there you go, that's your, your burn layer. And if it's a little bit too much, you can drop it down just a little bit. Let's maybe do like 30%. Let's group these up and rename it to D and B for dodge and burn. And let's do a before and after. So easy, so quick. Like, I love this technique. What did that take me? It took me about three minutes to do. And honestly, if I was doing it, I could probably do it in 30 seconds or less. We can actually add a mask to this group. So let's add a mask, fill it with black. And I'm gonna grab a brush tool and just start painting back in with white the effects. This is gonna kinda help separate her from the background. So let's paint over her face and her hair. Let's get all the hair and this part over her hand. Let's do another quick before and after. And what's nice is I actually, let's go and delete this. I made an action to make this even faster. So in the description of this video, there's a download link to this action. So if you go to bare photo, dodge and burn and click play, it's essentially going to run through and do everything we just did. So it made a folder called DNB. You have your burn layer, your dodge layer, everything's set to 50%. So you have uh, full control. If you want more of the effect, you can increase the opacity, you can decrease it. If it's a little too dark, you can go to just the burn layer and drop the opacity on it. She's a little light already, so I'm going to drop the opacity on the dodge. And there you have it. That's it. Um, if you guys have any ideas for video that you want me to make, just leave it in the comment section down below. And, you know, I just want to say I appreciate you guys. I've gotten some new subscribers that have been super awesome. have sent me some messages saying how much I've helped them out. And that, that really means a lot. And I just want to say thank you guys. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.